Welcome back to Toledo's Most Local 9 a.m. show. So it's hard to believe, but I'm going to say it. Are you ready for some football? So that means the summer is leaving us and we're... I think everybody's kind of always ready for football. Folks love though. college football. Yeah, yeah. University of Toledo is the Rockets home opener a little more than a month away. Head football coach Jason Candle and Rocket Jerwan Newton, senior wide receiver, join us. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having, Thanks for having us. So you had you there's some yards on your on your stat sheet. <laughs> right. <laughs> You've had a pretty successful career at the University of Toledo, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Talk a little bit about what you've done for the team. Um. Just work hard, um, try to make sure that the guys next to me are prepared. You know, me being an older guy, I always want to make sure that I look out for all the younger guys and lead them to the right direction. Um, but with that, uh, it's just giving my team all every week. So mm -hmm. I work hard, be ready for the game. All yeah. right. Coach, all right. I know you love to hear that from a senior, mm -hmm. right, who has yeah. uh, helped uh, you guys uh, last year uh, to rank in the top 25, make it uh, to the MAC championship, uh, rank number two, I think, in the MAC going into this season. Uh, so what are you looking forward to out of some of uh, your top players? Well, I mean, I think this guy sets a tremendous standard for everybody in the locker room. And, and we have a great core group of senior players and, and veteran guys that have uh, been shown the way by a good group of guys last year as well. So uh, we re rely heavily on their leadership, their guidance to help carry a message from the coaching staff to the locker room and, and, and being able to be consistent in that process. We've been able to create a very strong culture and that's what's helped us win games and continues to build our program. Yeah. How does the community help you all? You know, when we get out to games or we get out there, how, how does that help you all? And I think that's everything. I mean, I think that's, you know, wanting to be one with the city, wanting to be one with our university and our department kind of being a really strong, you know, that Team Toledo mantra. I think that's a big deal to our team and a big deal to our city. And, um, you know, we have a unique opportunity. Our conference has midweek games and uh, we have a chance to be a, on a national stage twice a year in our home stadium, you know, and there's not too many opportunities where, you know, the city of Toledo can be showcased on a national level. And we take great pride in that. And obviously we, it's our responsibility to continue to put out a great product. But, uh, you know, wanting to have that glass bowl filled, I know these guys feed off of that energy, and it's a distinct home field advantage, you know, uh, undefeated at home last year in a glass bowl and, and looking to continue that this year. Yeah, and uh, talk to us a bit about that, uh, just being able to feed off of this home crowd. And, and when you have a winning atmosphere, the crowd is really into it. So for you uh, to be able to perform for the city of Toledo, uh, how, do, how, how is that for you? Uh, how is that a motivating factor just to get out there and win each and every week? Um, just know there's people out there who care, you know, that makes you want to give it your all. Uh, just feeling the love, feeling the energy from the game, the fans screaming, the kids being out there, mm -hmm. you know, you out there, you feel like you're giving the kids hope, giving the kids something to look up to. So that all plays a huge factor in us going out there every week, giving it our all. Yeah, and we love it here on Good Day. Yeah. Uh, because we were able to uh, start the season off last year, Good Day on the road, and you all just went on a winning streak, and it was fantastic. <laughs> right. And we, we, took we, we did take a little credit for it, but we know <laughs> a lot of hard work goes into that. And practice, speaking of hard work, yeah. practice begins next week, right? First of all, you can have all the credit. Just come back this year. <laughs> we are planning to do that, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we had a great team last year. We had a great, like I said, uh, senior group that really showed us the way on how to do things. And, um, you know, we're talking about veteran guys and Jerwan and Max and Hook that have been around our program for a long time. So the standard doesn't change. Mm -hmm. um, the commitment to excellence that these guys have been able to put down since January 1st when we came back, uh, it's been fun to watch. And, uh, you know, we're getting ready to kick off what we think is going to be a very productive preseason camp. Yeah, and I know we look, we're looking forward to this year but just to talk last year mm -hmm. uh, you were able uh, as a program to help a uh, player get to the next level so that has to feel good to be able to uh, produce that from uh, this rocket program well we've had 10 guys drafted since I became the head coach here, which is, we're very proud of that. Mm -hmm. It means that we're doing a really good job of carrying the message that we put into a young man's ear when we're sitting in his living room in front of his parents recruiting him. Um, let's give, you know, Jerron mentioned hope. I mean, that's every kid's dream to try to make it to that next level. And I think the one thing we're most proud of is you know, all of those guys that have been drafted. They all have a degree in their hand. Some have master's degree in their hands. Um, so they've really maximized their ability, in, not only on the football field, but in the classroom. Um, and again, that's pri providing 
provided a, you know, a, a blueprint for what it should look like. So uh, we'll have some guys that will have the opportunity to do that again this year. You know, we're very proud of Quinion Mitchell being picked in the first round mm -hmm. last year and wish him nothing but the best with the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, But as excited we are for that, we're really excited about this fall coming up. Yeah, and so that home, uh, home opener is, is coming up on the 29th, and we're calling it the biggest party in town because, you know, we need everybody, as I mentioned, you know, it's a community thing. So we want everybody to come out. Who are you playing? And how are you preparing? Uh, we're playing Duquesne, and um, we prepare for every game like it's a championship game. Uh, we come out and just give it all, like I said, uh, and attack the week and get ready to, you know, mm -hmm. show the Rocket fans what we're about. Love that. Mm -hmm. Now, Amanda and I, we were talking earlier, and we have crossed this line when it comes to our age where we're not <laughs> the cool people anymore and partying. You're still in college. And we're calling this the biggest party in town. All right. So everyone should come out, right? 100%. Why, why is that? Why, how, how, do, how do the Rockets party? Uh, man, <laughs> we just go out, have a good time, have fun for sure, and uh, just, you know, Give the fans what they came to see. They, oh, a, a win, right? Mm -hmm. a win. right. <laughs> He's not going to throw any terms out there uh -huh, that we don't that understand. That we don't understand. We're <laughs> trying to figure <laughs> it out. I'm an old soul here. I'm not doing much partying myself. I'm not doing much myself. Yeah, you got goals, don't you? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck to you in your senior year, mm -hmm. and we wish nothing but the best for you as you look beyond that, and we hope for another undefeated season at home. Yeah, and, MAC and championship, MAC champ. bowl win. We're going to do yep. it. We're rooting for the Rockets. We yep. appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks so much for your being support. here today. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Well, when Good Day continues, we're talking some of your favorite things, Amanda. <laughs> yeah, ribs. Yeah, I just like food in general. <laughs> we have a preview of the 40th Northwest Ohio Rib Off. When Toledo's most local non-AM show continues.